Good morning, people. Rise and shine. It's a great day to be alive. Then again, any day's a great day to be alive. We're on this side of the dirt. Come on, that's a positive thing now. Let's put down some caffeine. Come on, let's go. Ah, gotta love my Starbucks, I'm telling you. And no, they're still not paying me to endorse them, you know? <laughs> anyway, good morning. Happy hump day, hump day, hump day. You're already in the middle of the week. Your work week is flying by. For those of you that are still employed and working, you know, God bless you all. Me, I'm retired. And I'm so damn happy that I'm retired. <laughs> Although I might be getting a part-time job. We'll see here. Just for something to do. For shits and giggles, if you will, you know. <clears throat> anyway, as I said, it's August the 19th, Wednesday. It is 2020. Good morning again. Let me put down some caffeine and I'll get going here. I got a small story I want to tell you. I, let's see, I got about 30 minutes for this video, but I won't make it that long. Um, I have a friend of mine that uh, I seen uh, a posting. Well, he's more than a friend of mine, but we'll just call him a friend of mine. I seen a posting where uh, he's thinking about uh, moving to a different state. You know. And... Uh, I commented to him, and I said, look it, you know, we all go through some hiccups and rough times. Ask me, I'll tell you, you know. But uh, he wants to uproot from Pennsylvania and go to a different state. And I said, well, young man, and he is, he's a few years younger than me, quite a few years younger than me. <clears throat> I said, look, okay, you're leading... The the somewhat single life again. However, you got a decent job. You got a job that has benefits. Uh, you have a job that you're, I'm assuming, you get paid for uh, sick leave, vacation time, holiday time. And now you want to uproot all of that and move to a different state and basically start all over again. Now, I don't know the situation, but I'm just saying, you know, unless he already has something set up where he's going to slide into another position and it's negotiated where uh, he's going to have basically the same kind of benefits and time off, so on and so forth, all right, then go for it. But if you don't and you're just going to go into a different state and stay, hey, I'm looking for another and maybe he'll get a job similar to what he has, but now he's starting at the bottom. And he's got to work his way up. You know, just my opinion. Um, I would think that one over before I would do something like that. And if any of you people out there know people that are thinking about doing basically uh, the scenario or basically like the story of what I'm telling you, share this video with them. Let them... Let that sink into their head, you know. It's not that easy to start all over again, you know. Just saying. Okay, enough of my uh, uh, little uh, story there of uh, moving on. <laughs> As I said, today is August 19th, Wednesday, hump day, 2020. Uh, birthdays today. It's uh, Miss Leanne Womack's birthday, country singer. She's 54 years young. And her uh, net worth is about $20 million. You know, happy birthday, Leanne. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. She was born in Jacksonville, Texas. In case you wanted to know. Okay. I've never been to Jacksonville, Texas. Matter of fact, I never heard of it until just now. So. Next birthday is Matthew Perry's birthday. If you remember him, uh, he... He was on uh, Friends. I never did watch Friends all that often, you know. I was not a big uh, Friends fan, for whatever reason. Nothing against Friends, but I just didn't get into it. Like I get into MASH, you know. 
But um, Mr. Matthew Perry is 51 years young today. Uh, his net worth is about $80 million. And um, he is from... Freeman, is it called? Freeman, Massachusetts? Somewhere in Mass, okay? Somewhere down in the Boston area. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Good morning to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, another birthday today. Uh, the um, 42nd President of the United States of America, Mr. Bill Clinton. President. Former President Bill Clinton. He's uh, 74 years young today. Happy birthday, Bill. Uh, he was born in um, uh, Kansas. Is that, am I saying that right? Or excuse me, Arkansas. Arkansas, I'm sorry. Uh, Hope, Arkansas. That's where he was born. Uh, his net worth uh, on paper is supposedly at in 2016. His net worth was uh, 75 million dollars. You can believe that or not, you know. Who am I to say? Who am I to question that anyway? Today is National Aviation Day, you know. For you people out there that are lucky enough to have your uh, private pilot's license and your, uh, you know, uh, just uh, into the amazement of flight, today is your day to uh, celebrate. National Aviation Day. So there you go. Okay? <laughs> All right. We're going to do a three-day weather forecast over there in Williamstown, Massachusetts. Okay? Because uh, that's where... Uh, who was born there? <laughs> Matthew Perry. Excuse me. He was born there. I, I got to look at my notes. All right? But... Uh, Three-day uh, weather forecast for <coughs> Williamstown, Massachusetts. <coughs> Excuse me. Wednesday, 73 degrees for a high. 48 was the low and 50% chance of showers today. Thursday in Williamstown, Mass. Uh, 76 for a high. 53 for a low and sunny. Friday in Williamstown, Massachusetts. Uh, 86 for a high. 60 for a low, and it's going to be sunny. So uh, you got two out of three days if you're up in the Williamstown, Mass. area. Uh, Thursday and Friday don't look too bad. So uh, if you're going that way, enjoy yourself. Now today over here in Tower City, just today, 79 for a high, 53 was a low, and uh, it's going to be mostly sunny. Uh, earlier this morning, when I took Sir Prince out for his uh, little walk, um, it was nice out there. Uh, very, very low humidity. There was uh, not quite a snap in the air, but it was comfortable, you know. You didn't need any kind of a, a light spring jacket or, you know. I just went out in, in my uh, T-shirt, you know. And it was very comfortable, very low humidity. Excuse my... Uh, my indigestion, I guess. I don't know what it is. But I went outside there and, uh, of course, uh, curbside uh, in front of my house. It was trash out there. And then I picked it up. You know, a subway wrapper. You know, people, you know, take your trash home with you. You know, that's all I got to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, just trying to keep this place uh, somewhat nice and neat, you know. I'm sure you uh, feel the same way, you know. I, I'd like to have seen where that piece of a subway trash came from because I would have went to that person's house and put it in their yard and let them say, Hey, what are you doing? Hey, if you can do it in my yard, I can do it in yours. The same thing with dogs, you know. People walk their dogs and they don't take a, any kind of a paper towel or a plastic bag. And, it, you know, I understand the dog's got to do its job. But clean your dog's mess up. Don't leave it in my yard or your neighbor's yard. Come on, you know. <laughs> There's my rant for for uh, doggy doo doo today. Okay, okay. Now let's do a five-day weather forecast 
over there in beautiful New Jersey, Cape May, New Jersey, after I put down some caffeine. And the reason for my five-day weather forecast is, in case any of you people are go- thinking about going down to the Jersey Shore, maybe this weekend, or for a number of days, instead of giving three-day weather forecast, I'll give you five days so you can uh, think ahead whether or not you want to go this week or not. But uh, in uh, Cape May, today, Wednesday, 78 for a high. 68 was the low, and then there's a 60% chance of thunderstorms today in the Cape May area. Keep that in mind. Thursday in Cape May, 78 for a high, 69 for a low, and sunny. Thursday's not a bad day if you can get off work or calling sick, whatever. (laughs) Friday in beautiful Cape May, New Jersey. 78 for a high, 72 for a low, and mostly cloudy. Saturday in Cape May, or the surrounding area. 80 for a high, 72 for a low, and mostly cloudy. Sunday in beautiful Cape May, New Jersey. 82 for a high, 73 for a low, and partly cloudy. So, uh... You know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're not bad-looking days. Uh, Friday, you got mostly cloudy, and 78 is the high. Saturday, it's 80 for a high, and mostly cloudy again, no rain. And Sunday, partly cloudy, and 82 for a high. So, this might be your uh, weekend to be going down to Jersey, down to uh, the Cape May area. And if you are, enjoy yourself. I'm thinking about getting away and... uh, I'm not sure where I want to go this weekend. I'm not going to go down to the Cape May area, but uh, I'll find some place I want to travel to. I was invo- invited to, a, a, if you want to call it a, a, a clam bake, you know, or a, a fish boil or whatever they call it up there in uh, the Boston area. I was invited to to that Um coming up here in a couple weeks, and uh, I mentioned to the person that I'd love to go, but I don't know what I'm doing right now. You know, I'm still looking for that camper, that uh, that motor home, um, so it's up in the air. You know, don't count on me. Thank you for the invite, but, uh, you know, maybe next year, and then again, maybe this year. We'll see. You know, I, I hate to say I don't know what I'm doing until I do it. I don't like that, you know. <laughs> Uh, you just do your thing, and if I can make it to your party, I'll give you, um, let's say, a 48-hour notice that I'm coming or not coming. That way, you know, I'm not uh, uh, putting anything on anybody, okay? All right, that's it. You guys have a great day today, okay? Thank your God for another day on earth. Pray to your God for peace on earth. And... uh Say a prayer for that poor truck driver that uh, was brutally beaten, him and his girlfriend. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'm sure it'll be out there, you know. The uh, protesters and rioters and uh, that poor guy was just trying to do his job, you know. And they pulled him out of the truck and just literally, I mean, just ripped him a new a-hole for no apparent reason whatsoever, you know. And then uh, one of these clowns did a round out, roundhouse kick to his face. He didn't know it was even coming because, you know, his back was to this person. You know, that uh, really takes a very impressive uh, man to, uh, you know, uh, um, sucker kick you, if you want to say that, you know, and I bet you if it would have been just one-on-one, he would have thought differently, but because his group was around this poor individual, they just tore into him, you know, I don't know what this world is coming to, but uh, I said a prayer for that young truck driver and, and his girlfriend or his wife, whatever the person was, you know, 
and apparently she even got punched in the face by a couple of these uh, so-called men. All right, that's enough of that. You know, I never thought I'd see this in uh, this uh, United States of America, but uh, pray to your higher power that this will change, okay? All right, guys, put your coffee down or your favorite morning beverage, and uh, good Lord willing, I'll talk with you guys tomorrow, okay? Cheers. And good morning to all my uh, family out there. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. Keep on smiling. See you later. Bye. Peace. Smile.